Talk to, let's talk to me about transportation. It was uh, one of the big things that was developed not only in Europe but also here in the United States. The autobahns and the interstates. Autobahns and the interstates. Does anybody remember why they were developed? Yeah, people work. The auto, the auto bond was developed by Adolf Hitler yeah. to, to move the troops. The, the, the auto bond was brought that technology back here right. in our country. When people country. The first auto bonds were actually landing strips. The Germans would have on the edge of an auto bond in the woods, they would have planes so they could take off from auto bonds. Uh, it, was, it was partly airports for the Germans, but they did have good high speed roads. Uh, General Eisenhower, who is my superior commander, of course, he immediately got to be president of the United States, and he put in a program to have the interstate system so that we'd have autobahns in the United States because he, he liked them. Now, I did a lot of driving in Germany, but I never got to use an autobahn more than a couple times because we used back roads. I don't, I don't think we're just trying to avoid the big stuff being blown up or anything, but we just used back roads. This battle of the bulge went into, went into Belgium and across Luxembourg. So being as what I was in the battle of the bulge, um, Luxembourg and Belgium invites us to Come okay. to their embassy in Washington D.C. In, huh? in Washington D.C. And I and, and I had 16th of December. That's coming up. That's the beginning of the battle. And they invite us to their embassy. We have good Belgium beer, and we have good Belgium chocolate. And oh, it, they just treat us royally, and a big nice meal. And uh, one kind of guy looked kind of important the uniform on the Belgium. And one of the first years I went to it, I thought, oh my God. I said, well, what are you doing this for? He said, we can't do enough. And he said, we know what some of yours said. If you hadn't gotten Hitler stopped, he was going to have what he called the thousand year right. They were going to control, and they knew that, and their children knew that. And these people that I'm talking to are not veterans, they're second and third generation, and they talk so seriously to you, they almost cry. They think it was so important that they were released from this devil. It's amazing how they treat us. Like I say, the beer was very good. <laughs> we, I don't think we're going to go back this year. We didn't go last year. How do you know the beer is still there? <laughs> yeah. It's just oh, they, they just one, one year we didn't do it. They would bring a plane over here, or a couple of them, load us up, take us there for how many days? Ten days? So, yeah and bring us back free, but we didn't do it. They just can't get over the fact that they were not under this horrible 100-year wreck of Hitler's. Anything, any other thoughts before we move well, on with? I think we have to remember that uh, World War II uh, was a time when it's just amazing. I was in high school, grade school, then high school, and all of a sudden, like you're saying earlier, Japan was in China, Mussolini was in Africa, Hitler was taking all the places around Germany, the Saar Valley, uh, Saar Valley, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and then finally going into Poland and into Czechoslovakia. I just love Czechoslovakia. When you went in there, I just think. And you just thought, the world is just going nuts. And we got through it. It was an amazing period. I got these certificates when I was still commander, but now 
Chuck is the commander, but we wanted to wait until tonight to give out these awards. But I have four of them, but there's only one here. Roger Mulroy has 50 years in this Legion post, but he couldn't make it tonight. And Ronald Hoyman also has 50 years in this post. Francis Schmetzel also has 50 years. This person is here. This person has 70 years in this post. Wow. Does anybody know who that person is? Would you like to stand up, Bob? <laughs> The certificate is from the Legion out of headquarters. It says, issued in a grateful appreciation for your faithful and dedicated allegiance to the ideals of the American Legion. Be it known that Robert Snyder, a longtime and dedicated member of the American Legion Post 55, Department of Wisconsin, has been certified to have been a member in good standings continuously for 70 years. And it be further known that such record of Consistent loyalty to the American Legion merits the honor of being cited as an outstanding contributor to the programs of the American Legion. To witness whereof this testimonial of personal gratitude is given under the hand of the National Commander and duly assessed by the National Adjutant this 15th day of March 2016. to go home and check my records. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> Roger, <laughs> and before everybody runs away, he's already got it. Uh, I need uh, Captain Randy Baumgart to come up. He has some awards. All right, this is kind of special. Before I give these awards, I'm currently, if you don't know, still in the military. Um, I'm a supply officer, so some of my background of learning was about the Red Ball Express. And just to give an idea of how far we've come, imagine those jerry cans he talked about stacked nice and neat from that wall at least to here and probably from the wall out to those pillars stacked that was our fuel depots along the road now we have 5,000 gallon tankers we have 20,000 gallon bladders to set up fuel farms um, we learned a lot from falling behind on our supply throughout the world a lot more this is a little uh, dedication. Those of you in the military, veterans, stand at attention. Attention to orders. Attention to orders. For the following, Edward Dorn, Franklin Rosler, Rosler. Robert Schneider, Schneider. <laughs> to you who answered the call of your country and served in its armed forces to bring about the total defeat of the enemy I extend the heartfelt thanks of a grateful nation as one of the nation's finest you undertook the most severe task and can be, <clears throat> and can be called upon to perform because you demonstrated the fortitude, resourcefulness, and calm judgment necessary to carry out that task, we now look to you for leadership and example in further exalting our country in peace. Signed, Harry Truman. You are each awarded the World War II Victory Medal.
Congressman Myrtle. Thank you very much for your service to the country. Thank you. 